Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to show with you guys. Uh, these literally just showed up on my doorstep. Actually, there was another one, but I'm gonna save that for another video. Uh, but uh, yeah, it looks like it was sent by we slash Civivi slash Sencut. So I'm excited to get into these um, with you guys today. If they are available, I will absolutely link them right down below so that you can check them out for yourselves. Uh, it does help my channel and use my links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks so much uh, to we for sending these in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. I'm going to open up the send cut first. These pa these pieces are always just open, but the actual box, do I have to break a seal? Yeah. Okay. So this is called the, oh, it says product division send cut. What is it called? The San Angelo. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Which side did I cut? Oh my gosh. Professional knife unboxer. This is not a review. This is what an unboxing looks like. This is not a review. It's weird that I have to say that, right? <laughs> I'm not, I don't review things that I just open up and look at. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty generic, but this is end cut. You know, I mean, that's what we're going to get. Um, actually, that's really comfortable. The, I was worried about the curvature of the handle there, but no, that actually, uh, that actually kind of melts nicely. Now, with the dominant hand, though, yeah, that pocket clip still, we still got that clip. But this looks nice. I like the actually green micarta and not like OD or brown. Um, that looks good. We have a nice slicing profile here. I'm going to guess this is 9CR. Yeah, there it is right there. 9CR 18MOV, which is fine. This is most likely a sub-50, hopefully a sub-45 dollar knife. That's what I would expect. Action is very good. This is super simple, super straightforward. A little bit of a departure from what we generally see from Civivi slash Sencut, which they're slowly turning into the exact same brand. But this is nice. It feels good, and it is surprisingly more ergonomic than I thought it would be. Um, the actual cutting edge... Yeah, it's pretty thin. Definitely. Okay, pretty cool. Um, what do we have next? There was one that I wanted to do. There was a specific one that I wanted to do last. Let's do this one first. This looks interesting. So this one is called... <laughs> Hold on here. The Savant. Okay. Let's get in and... Oh, sorry. Another seal to break. There we go. And the Savant, let's take a look, see how we look here. We have another one of these kind of have, okay. Um, yeah, so it's like a, it's a steel, I actually like the look of that. That's, I'm getting this stuff out so it doesn't focus on the, yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's very Civivi, but it's also like not exactly the same thing that they've been doing. This is kind of nice looking. Is this Nitro V? I get a feeling that's what the steel is. Where are you? Oh, no, it's 14C. Is it? I can't see it. 14C28N is what the steel is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice. I'm not the biggest fan of the wood. Um, action feels good. And despite this obviously being steel. Oops. Yes. That's steel. Um, it's really not all that heavy. So hold on here. Let's see. Yeah, a couple of different variations. If you don't like wood, they have simple, you know, black G10, and then they have Damascus, etc. Okay. So yeah, okay, the Savant. That's actually kind of neat. I kind of like that. I really appreciate that they have knocked this area out and carved it. Like a lot of these designers who do these big, you know, sort of long straight profiles, they're like, nah. Screw the access to the lock bar. I really want it to look perfect right here. So I cannot deviate from this straight line. No, not in this case. They cut this little area right here out so that you could access it. And that is greatly appreciated. Um, even though it's there, the, the flipper tab catches you uh, pretty early. Yeah, it's right on top of the detent ball. Or right as the detent ball starts to transition up 
to the blade. So if you can get it here, eh, it's still, yeah, a little bit of a double clutch. Obviously, the remedy for that is to disengage it and sort of guide it with your index finger, then move your thumb and then close it. So, but if you like to do this, you're going to have to get your thumb out of the way before the blade drops down to your fingernail. Cool design, though. Ah, do we have this? This clip looks better without the holes, but they're still doing this, that little bill there. So, eh. Cool knife, though. Interesting. Now, this is the one that I was the most interested in, definitely. Um, let's take a look here. The name of this one is the Volte, the, the Voltaic, the Voltage, I don't know. If these are words, I don't use them in my day-to-day -day very much, so I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but this one, uh, of everything that Civivi has been releasing here lately, I remember that one catching my eye during an episode where I went through Blade HQ's, like, coming soon inventory. So, let's see what we've got here. Ah, uh, good. It is, I was really hoping it would be larger. That is good looking. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I like that one. That's nice looking. We have a little bit of a, okay, so it's kind of, this makes me think of the blade on the Chevalier, except it is a drop point instead of a sheep's foot. We have a steel frame lock that is mostly covered by a, very uh, stylish G10 overlay, um, or we could call it scale, whatever you want. I really like how they finish the steel here. Is this? Yeah, it's like tumbled. For a second, I thought it was orange peel. I was like, oh, you didn't, Civivi. You shouldn't have. Um, but this is nice. Look how they transition here. This is really good. So this is probably going to be one of those. What do we got for the steel? 14C28N. That is beautiful. This is probably going to be one of those. The only thing that I'm a little fearful of is that Civivi's going to do that thing where they try to justify a really high price tag. I have not seen the price on this. If they can keep this guy, I would say at 70 or less, then yeah, I, you know, I, I think that I think this is really nice. I really like that. Uh, this is beautiful. And look at that. Are the stops garaged as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. This is cool. I mean, not like, is it like, you know, something that looks a whole lot different than everything else? No, outside of like the way that they did these big, fat, like shadow boxing lines. No, not really. It's got really generic knife lines and a really generic knife profile, right? But we get that nice, yeah, fidget factor there. Uh, I wonder how much this weighs. Feels like it's like three and a half to three point seven five. I'm just shooting in the dark here. Let's find out. Mm, a little higher, four four and a quarter. It's that it's that steel under there. It's definitely a little bit. There's the there's where it's balanced, right? So it's definitely a little butt heavy, but it does feel good, and it has a fairly narrow profile, and it's not super thick. It also is very thin behind the edge, <laughs> definitely. Um, I'm really hoping that they do not try to justify some like mega price tag on that thing. I really like Civivi has been doing some interesting things and certainly things that justify a slightly higher price. I mean, if you guys remember in the beginning, Civivi was like $40, $40, $40, $45, $50, $50 right, right in there. And then it was like 60, 60, 60, 65, 70, 80, 85, 90. How about 100, right? <laughs> a couple of models here lately have been like, come on now. We're getting up there into the hundreds. Once they cross the, the $80 line, it doesn't feel appropriate for Sabibi anymore, no matter what it is that they're doing. So if they can keep this guy at 70 or less, right? Just judging off of like my, my favorite dollar for dollar Sabibi is the Chevalier. Uh, so, you know, in my head, and maybe that's unfair, right? Because I'm just like judging it off my favorite. But just given the way that they've built it, right? Execution of said materials, the materials themselves, right? Overall functionality and general design. I really hope they keep this guy under 70. 14C28N is a nice steel. And yes, we can get you know, we can get that steel and knives that are sub $50 sometimes. But are they built exactly like this? No, nah, I mean, this is nice. This really, this they put some extra work into this. Um, <laughs> it's definitely one of the nicer Civivis that I've seen, for sure. Okay, 
Well, I like everything about that one except for the name. The name is weird. Maybe it means something that I don't understand or I don't know. Uh, the rest of these, they, they're okay. Like I said, if they're available, I'll, I'll link them right down below. You will definitely get reviews, individual reviews for each of these in the next few weeks. Thanks again to we Savivi slash SendCut. We slash Savivi slash SendCut for sending these in for me to take a look at. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.